The government, who has obviously done its calculations to suit themselves, have decided that this bill has to pass in order to enlarge parliament in the way that they say, in the format and the formula that they say, which, without any consultation, is a total betrayal to democracy and to the uh, uh, integrity of parliament and doesn't allow for a meaningful consultation, which would perhaps reach us to the point where a, a proper enlargement of parliament would be, uh, would be sought in order to have genuine enhanced democracy and not more powers effectively to the chief minister and the bloc in government. But why is this enlargement not enhancing democracy? Because all it does is give more powers to the governing party. The powers will be enhanced from a 58% to a 60%. Already you're getting a 2% enhancement. It does, it, it, the government is selling it like uh, the fact that there are backbenchers means that they could vote against government and that would enhance democracy and bring about a different style of, of, of parliamentary uh, discourse and debate. But it's not true because at the end of the day, even though they tell you that it's meant to be more like West Minister, it's not possible. We're not in the UK where it's proportional representation, where you have constituencies, where you have people like Anna Subri, Dominic Grieve revolting. That doesn't happen in Gibraltar. If a government per presents a slate of 15, you can be sure that those in the backbenches are always going to vote with government. And the government knows this very well, and this is why they're doing it, because now in their third, fourth term, they are losing support and they are hemorrhaging um, their, their votership, and they want to keep it somehow um, in, the, in, the, in the light of the emergence of, of new parties and, and a new style of politics. And this is how they believe that they will capture the voter and the bloc vote in a more secure manner for themselves. And this is why I have these reservations, because it's all being done in a very uh, um, Machiavellian way in order for government to do better at the next elections. You stood at the 2015 election under the GSD banner, a banner which advocated the enlargement of Parliament. Yes, absolutely I did. And like I say, I still advocate the enlargement of Parliament. What I don't advocate is the enlargement of Parliament in the formula that Mr Picardo wants, just in a 45-minute meeting, three months before an election, in the way that he wants it. I would have liked to have the chance to present a model that to me, as a member of the select committee, may have worked, may have been consulted upon, for example, having dedicated slots for independent members who will genuinely enhance democracy because they won't be part of the shackles of the party system. So yes, I stand by what I, what I stood then. I stand by wanting to change for, for parliamentary reform, but it doesn't have to be in the way that all of a sudden we have been forced uh, to, to accept it down our throats at the very last minute in order to pass this bill in a rush just before a general election because Mr. Picardo wants it to be so.